Hi, I'm Diane Hendricks, and welcome to Fresh to Frozen and Back. This show is going to make your life easier. In each episode, I'll teach you how to prepare delicious and better for you meals, how to freeze them properly, then bring them back to the table, dress them back up, and bring them back to life at a later date. This episode is all about eggs. I am making some exceptional recipes. We've got some really awesome recipes using eggs. Eggs are a nutritional powerhouse and they're not just for breakfast. Just one egg has six grams of protein, all nine essential amino acids, all for just 70 calories. There's tons of nutrition in eggs and you can do so much with them. They're super versatile. They're great as a topper, as a side dish, or as a meal. So I'm gonna show you some really cool ways to make eggs. Okay, so let's start with a classic poached egg. So I have this water that I had boiled, so I'm gonna bring it back up to a boil. It only takes a second. And what I'm gonna add is a nice, a hefty pinch of salt. And then I'm going to add some vinegar. And the vinegar kinda of helps to keep the, the white part all together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this boil, get this boiling up. And as, as soon as it starts to boil, I'm gonna stir it around to get like a, like a hurricane or a tornado going on in there. And that's gonna help wrap that egg white on itself so it's not all over the place. Okay, now here it comes. It's coming to a rapid boil. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna kind of stir it, stir the water around to get it in a circular motion so as I drop the egg in, it all binds around itself. So there's one. I always put the eggs in a cup first. And I'm gonna do all three of these guys. And then I'm gonna let it boil for about two to three minutes, and then I'll turn the heat off. I make poached eggs all the time. It's one of my uh, boys' favorite, favorite breakfasts, and it's so simple. And they're, they're, I'm gonna use them in a, like a Benedict, using the McCain dipping wedges, the potato wedges, and use that as the base instead of bread. Ugh, wait till you try it. Wait till you make it at home. Now be careful, because it could overflow. So what I'm gonna do is pick it up, and then I'm going to turn this down a little bit so the pot doesn't seem to uh, go over, because this is a very, very sensitive stove that I have going on here. Now you see there is some egg whites at the top. I'm gonna use them when I make the breakfast poached eggs that I make my kids. So I'm just gonna wait for that. You gotta stay with them, because you don't want them to overcook. You want them nice and soft on the inside. And I'm using a slotted spoon so that when I take it out, I can get it nice and safely so it doesn't break. It's so simple. My mother used to make them for me and my two sisters all the time. And it's so simple. It's just salt, pepper, poached eggs, and toast. And you can use any type of bread that you like, whatever bread you want. So I'm using some nice uh, crusty bread, so I'm going to chop that up while I'm waiting for that to uh, cook. So I just toasted this bread. Now I'm just going to chop this and slice this into little um, squares just like mom used to do. It's the same thing. It's so nice. It reminds me, it's very nostalgic when I make this and it's really makes me so happy because my kids love it so much. And then all you're gonna do when I serve it is I just put the bread in the bottom of the bowl. I'm keeping my eye on over there. This is called multitasking. So I'm gonna put the bread in the bottom of the bowl and when they're done, 
You're just gonna take them out, and these are just about done. I can see that already. Yep, these are done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these out and just put them on this plate. Oh, they're perfectly poached. That is a perfectly poached egg. So we're gonna let that cool a little bit, and some of the water is gonna be on the plate, so you don't want you don't want too much water, but you can see that these are perfectly, perfectly poached. So, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of these little guys and set it aside for the Benedict that I'm gonna make. So that's going with the Benedict. This is actually perfect, even with all this extra egg white, because my kids love that, it kind of bulks it all up. So what we're gonna do is you just take the, the poached egg that you have, and I'm going to put it right on top of the bread. And then I'm gonna take this one and put it on top of the bread. And, it's, oh, and we just don't wanna forget that. And then we're just gonna hit that with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Gotta have the pepper. Don't skip the pepper. Do not skip the pepper. That really makes it. Okay, and then when you break it, you let your kids do the breaking because they like that, it's fun. And as you break it, you just cut it and all that yolk just oozes into the bread. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Sometimes two slices of bread might be a little bit much for the amount of eggs that you have. So just, just you'll feel it out and that's it. And I'm telling you, something that simple is absolutely delicious. I wanna eat that, but I'm gonna wait a minute. For the next recipe, we are going to make a Western scramble. So I'm gonna turn this stove on, get it up nice and hot, and I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And again, I'm using the Loy Lottie. Extra virgin olive oil gives it such a delicious flavor. And we're gonna let that heat up. You can see it's getting liquid. All right, so again, as, as the oil hits the pan, it gets more liquid, so you don't have to use a lot. So that's getting nice and hot, and we are going to add peppers, chopped peppers. And we're going to add some red onion. You hear that sizzle. And some ham. You don't have to add the ham if you don't want. You can use bacon, you can use prosciutto, you can use anything that you like. And that's starting to cook up. While that's cooking up, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Well, that's cooking up, and you're not gonna need any salt with this because you have the salt that's coming from the ham. A little bit of pepper. I'm gonna turn that down just a bit, crack some eggs in here. Ooh. And again, well, I'm gonna put three eggs in here. Leftovers are great and they freeze beautifully. We're gonna add a little hit of milk, just a hit. Another little hit of pepper. Oop, doesn't matter where it goes, anywhere. Stirring this up, oh, it smells so good. And if you don't like peppers, you don't have to make a Western scramble. Use broccoli, use zucchini, use whatever you like. Let's whip this up. The key is to get the yolk all incorporated with the white. Get some air in there, makes it nice and fluffy. If you actually put this in a blender, it gets so fluffy, it makes a really fluffy omelet. Okay, and then we're going to, I don't like brown eggs. I like um, scrambles better. So you just wanna work it the whole time so that you don't end up with brown eggs. Unless you like the brown on the eggs, I don't. So I'll work it and fold it, let it hit and then just work it a little more. And a uh, rubber spatula is my favorite uh, thing to make eggs with. I always use a rubber spatula, a high heat rubber spatula. So I'm just cooking this up. I just knocked the heat down by accident and I just cranked it back up again. Okay, so we're just gonna scramble these up. I think I got it up high enough. Oh, it makes such a delicious breakfast. And I'm gonna serve these with these McCain smiles, because this is a good way to get kids to eat vegetables by adding the vegetables into the eggs and then serving it with the potatoes. You've got, you know, all the nutrition going on here. I got a little milk in the eggs. I've got the protein of the eggs. I've got the peppers. Really adds a really good flavor. Oh, we need a little shredded cheese. 
If you want, you don't have to. You can add some shredded uh, cheese if you'd like. You know, absolutely don't have to. Little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot. There we go, look at that. Mmm, this smells so good. And again, if you don't want the peppers or the onions, just use anything that you like. That's the beauty of what I call cooking on top of the stove. Because if there's ingredients that you don't want, don't use them, just use something else. If you're baking and you need the perfect amount of baking soda or baking powder, that's a whole different ball game. Okay, and there, here we have this delicious Western scramble. I'm gonna serve with these beautiful McCain smiles. It makes everybody smile. Can't go wrong there. That's a smiley little breakfast right there. So there's our second. I'm gonna clean up and when we come back, I'm gonna show you a couple more fabulous egg recipes. Okay, next up, we're gonna do an egg and a pepper ring, and then I'm gonna show you how great it freezes. So we're gonna crank this up. Okay. Then we're gonna, again, we're gonna add a little bit of oil. Good quality oil, the best, little bit. Okay, and we're gonna let that get all liquid. And then we're gonna drop these pepper rings. You're gonna take pepper, you can use red peppers, yellow, orange, it doesn't matter. Here I have green peppers, and you're just gonna cut them. And I'm gonna just drop, I'll do two. I'm just gonna do two in here. And what I'm doing is I'm just getting it, just getting it a little soft before I drop the egg in. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. And I'm just gonna get it soft on one side, just to kind of start, get it started, so it's not too hard. Then I'm gonna flip it over. I'm using a knife, you can use a spatula, whatever. Okay. Now, I'm going to crack an egg right into the middle of the pepper ring, and it's okay if the yolk, uh, the white part starts to go around the edge. Now look how cute that looks in there. And it freezes great. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook a little bit, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, a lid on it and I'm gonna turn it down. And I'm gonna let that cook just a little bit. While that's cooking, egg salad zucchini cups. So I'm just taking eggs, hard boiled eggs, and what I like is I love to use this little egg uh, slicer, and the way I do it for um, egg salad or anything is I put it in sideways, right? Then I'll close it. Then I'll pick the whole thing up again, and I'll put it in the other way. And then I'll close it again, and just drop it right in there. And then that's nice and sliced up and it's perfect. And then I'll mash it even a little bit more. Add a little bit of Greek yogurt, a little bit of relish. My mother always added relish to, um, oh, deviled eggs, that's what I'm making. Deviled egg salad, I knew I was making something. I picked up the relish and the nostalgia came back. My mom, Noel, always made deviled eggs. We loved it. She could barely even get them on the table. And a little bit of dried mustard. And just a little, little, little pinch of salt and some paprika. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mash that up a little bit. And then what I like to do is I'm gonna put it in a piping bag, which is a Ziploc bag. Mmm, look at that. That looks so good. Okay, so what I did was after you make it, I just put it in a zip top bag. And what I'm gonna do is make a couple of zucchini cups. You can do it with cucumbers as well. And you find a nice fat zucchini. And you're just gonna make a little cup by just slicing it. And then I like to use a grapefruit spoon. I'm gonna stay on top of this because I don't want it overcooked. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. 
That looks so yummy. I'm gonna turn this around this way. Sometimes stoves have a little bit like of where it seems like they're leaning in one way or the other. You gotta get to know your stove. I'm using a grapefruit spoon and I'm just gonna go around it. You don't wanna go all the way through because I'm making a little cup. See? I'll do one more and you don't throw this out. Chop that up, throw it in your freezer bag that we have going, you know, with all the stuff for the stock and pop it out. I would eat this too, you can just eat that. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is after I put my um, deviled egg salad into the piping bag, Ziploc bag, oh, perfect. I'm gonna turn this off now and that's gonna continue to cook. I'm gonna cut a really big hole in it because it's, nice, it's really chunky. Really big thing off the corner. And then all you're gonna do is just pipe it in here. It is so delicious, so good. Look at that. And you can do that with the whole zucchini. Pile it nice and high. And then you just put them on a plate. One bite snack, well two bites because that's a pretty big piece, but it's also a great after school snack for your kids. I think I need to make two more because that looks so pretty and it's all alone over there. So let me just make two more real quick. Just scoop it, just be careful not to go all the way through, it'll pop right out. Same thing here, all the way through, it'll pop right out and then just pipe it in. Let me just get some of the liquid out of here. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I like it chunky, so that's why you have to use the, uh, then you can add a little bit of extra paprika. And maybe a couple of chives for prettiness. And there you got a nice little one bite appetizer, after school snack, whatever, your hungry meal, if you wanna eat them all. And then next we have a, oh, I forgot to put the shrimp in. If you like, you can put shrimp in with the egg salad or you can just put it on the side. Anything can be fixed. I forgot the shrimp. But you can chop them up real, real small and put them in there too. Okay, last but definitely not least, whoop, let's get that, oh, it's perfect. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Take this off if you want, it pops right off. The pepper is cooked perfectly. You're gonna hit that with a little bit of pepper. And again, you can, you can just serve that with uh, anything. You can serve it with bread, you can serve it with french fries, which I'm gonna show you. Maybe put a smile there, make everybody happy. Okay, now the last but not least, we're gonna do this uh, Benedict, a french fry uh, McCain Dippin' Wedges Benedict. So I'm using the potatoes instead of bread. Let's get it out. They should be done. Oh man, the perfect. Perfect. So it's as simple as this. I'm gonna move my little egg over here. Let it sit right there. We are going to take these delicious McCain dipping wedges that are made from 100% potatoes. Oh my gosh, so good. They smell amazing. Uh, no artificial flavors or colors. Do it like that. Instead of an English muffin, come on. This is so good. Then all we're gonna do is we're going to take some avocado. Just kinda pop some chopped avocado on there. If you lose a guy over there, you'll have him later. Avocados are tw over 20 nutrients in an avocado. They're so good for you. Then we are going to do a squeeze of lime. We are going to do a chipotle aioli, which I just use with a little bit of um, like powdered chipotle with a little bit of Greek yogurt, a little sour cream if you want. I'll save a little bit for the top. Some cilantro. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Some black pepper. Then you're gonna take your poached egg and set it on top. Let's do the pepper on top as well. Maybe one more little squeeze of the lime. And then let's break that bad boy. Okay. And then you're just gonna break it. And that ooey gooey deliciousness just kinda goes all over everything. Come on. How good does that look? That looks amazing, doesn't it? You can even put two eggs on there if you wanted. I didn't make an extra egg otherwise. I might have put two on there because that's quite a bit of fries. But look at how delicious that looks. We'll hit it with a little bit more cilantro. 
And you've got yourself a delicious, delicious um, egg dinner, breakfast, meal, lunch, whatever you like. Um, now, when we come back, I'm going to show you something frozen. I'm not quite sure what. Okay, so I froze these, and these actually make a fantastic breakfast sandwich. So these are frozen solid. You can actually defrost them, you can put them in the oven, you can reheat them in a pan, and just put these on as like an egg sandwich. It's so delicious with whatever, maybe some avocado, some of that aioli, ketchup, whatever you like. And that's it, everything else, the scramble freeze is great. Um, the egg salad, not so much. The bread, yes. And um, the french fries are just awesome, so you can't go wrong with that. Tune in next time to Fresh to Frozen and Back. Um, if you like this episode, please share it with uh, your friends, your family, people you love. Follow me on uh, social media, at Diane Hendricks. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do all that stuff. Looking forward to seeing you again. Tune in next time.